This is Jack Dalton. I'm in the prayer hall of the mosque that is part of the Taj Mahal funerary complex. I'm standing directly beneath the central pointed arch that is the main entrance to the prayer hall. In front of me on the opposite wall, the western wall, is a niche in the form of a pointed arch. That niche is known as the mirab. It indicates the direction of prayer, the direction of Mecca. To the right of the mirab is a very simple pulpit consisting of three steps known as the mimbar. From the mimbar or pulpit, the imam will lead the congregation in prayer on Friday, the day of assembly in Islam, the holy day in Islam. And it is from the mimbar or pulpit that the imam will also give sermons on the day of assembly. The space in front of the mirab is the most important space in a prayer hall. It is often marked by a dome, as in the case of the mosque of the Taj Mahal funerary complex. It is sometimes said that the dome over the space in front of the mirab symbolizes the vault of heaven, the firmament. And indeed, it is sometimes ornamented with geometry in the form of stars. On the far right of the prayer hall is located another interesting feature. That feature is a segregated space behind a marble screen. That is the space that is, re that is reserved for the female members of the congregation. For prayer in a mosque is segregated by gender. The floor in front of the mirab is decorated with inlaid slabs, red sandstone, marble, onyx, in the form of small niches. Each of these niche spaces points toward the mirab, points toward the west, the direction of Mecca. And during congregational prayer, each of these niched areas on the floor of the prayer hall would be occupied by a devotee engaged in the prayer of prostration that is, a, that is an essential element or pillar of Islam. All of the essential types of Islamic ornamentation can be seen decorating this monument. Calligraphic ornamentation. Geometric ornamentation. And of course, floral and vegetal ornamentation.
here seen in the quintessential form of scrolling vine, vines and vegetation known as the arabesque. At the Taj Mahal complex, all of the main forms of Islamic ornamentation are combined with tremendous mastery. I'm going to leave now to explore other aspects of this extraordinary complex, the Taj Mahal, the most famous tomb in the world the masterpiece of Islamic architecture. What Lord Curzon, the Viceroy of India in the late 19th and early 20th centuries called the most perfect structure in the world. Thank you very much.